Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another edition of Adi Chappelle Live, the official Afrobeats podcast, brought to you by the energy god, drink nothing else. This is owned by a black man, in Didi's own terms. Anyway, big shout outs to everybody supporting, liking, sharing, commenting. We appreciate the support. This is where we break down the hottest topics in the culture, and sometimes I invite my guests to come sit down one-on-one with me right here in this studio. Joining me all the way from Lagos, Nigeria, is one of the hottest creatives from the continent. Some people know him as a video director. Other people know him as a model. Some people just know him as a genius. He's on Twitter talking all of that yak. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the indomitable, now (laughs) super rich, (laughs) T.G. (laughs) Omori. Move close to the mic. (laughs) Listen. How would you like to be in, you know, introduced? You, I'm, I'm I mean, sure. Are you like... a video director? <laughs> and what, what would you like to be called? Um, I mean, I feel like that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. Um, I mean, I'm just that guy. I'm just a hustler, you mm. know. So anyway, the powers, all the money, they will be there. If you understand, so nothing too serious. Mm. I can be a director today. I can choose to. Look up tomorrow and do something else. But right now, address me as a music video director. Music video director. Now, that is probably one of the most um, interesting parts of the music business, especially in the last 15 years, has been responsible for promoting African pop music to the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. Because video directors have been responsible in shaping our image and promoting our entertainers. Let's talk about TG first. TG... When I looked at your name, it's actually thank God. <laughs> God damn it. Do you say thank God nowadays when you Bruh. see what the check is saying? Move close to the mic, my brother. Move <laughs> close to the mic. Do you say thank God when you see what the what the bank account is saying? Um <laughs> <laughs> everybody's always talking about my bank account. I don't know why, but like I mean, it's good. <laughs> but at the same time, why currently trying to invest a lot into the art itself. Facts. You know, like, there's so much that we're trying to put into this. It feels like we're trying to start a revolution that's going to actually see music videos trying to match up with the international videos. Mm. Because, you see, Afrobeat right now <clears throat> is doing crazy numbers. Facts. So we should be getting crazy budgets to do crazy things. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you understand? Cause yeah. Bro, if you check out the budget this international artist gets for music videos, yep. and what we get in Africa, it's, it's crazily not... far apart. And if you see how well our music is doing now, I feel like we... So, like, it's not... The battle is not against the artist. Mm. It's like we are trying to command the same respect. But if you look at these things, budget is the major issue. Mm. A, lot of, a lot of Nigerians are very creative. That's what I see in international music videos or movies. Nigerians are always doing very good. Yeah. They are very creative, but the budget is always an issue. Hmm. They understand? So that's why I'm like, yo, we deserve to get these budgets hmm. to create this magic. Hmm. If you see a Chris Brown video and you like it, because there's a lot that's gone into it. Do you understand? But if you don't want to know, they'll compare your video... <laughs> With the Michael Jackson's video, that's a $1 million. Do you understand? Absolutely, absolutely. So, bro, music video directors in Africa still get 5 k to make a music video. Huh. That's crazy. That's almost impossible bro, to Bro, 5 k do you know how much to style an artist? But the boys have to bend to it. They need to still stress themselves to make these things happen. You can't blame the artist because huh. there's not so much money in the business sometimes, you know? Until you are like a burner boy, a whiskey, or a rema, or a fire boy, or an ashake, mm. that you're getting constant shoes. But it's not everybody that has that. Do you understand? And people still want to make crazy videos. Those type of videos. Let, so, let me, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me take you back a little bit. Where did a young TG get the bug to be a video director? Where, how does that even happen? <laughs> um... I mean, my society, sometimes I just want to create. Do you understand? Like, I feel like 
anytime I know they outside it creates magic. I'm not I'm not existing, you know? Mm. Like the fact that it creates is that thing that gives you excitement. Like anytime I see a music video that I successfully finesse, mm. there's this piece of there's this joy. I, so like I love that feeling. I want to do it again and but again how and did again. You start? What um, got you started? I mean, I was broke. <laughs> Oh. And I need have money. Mm. And <laughs> a lot know? of people are broke and need money. Yeah. But they don't have the talents. And it, I, listen, I, I was struggling too. Right. But it, no, I didn't just walk up to anybody and say, let me take the camera and direct. Yeah. So where did that come from? Okay. Um, when I used to, I was a proper church boy. Mm. Do you understand? Like, I used to direct stage plays when I was like in children's department. Like, I would go and direct like, the adult church, like wow. I go from church to church, and I was so young, because I could, right now I could bring out a full direction, like a full play, and so like the pastors, every, every Sunday was like a thing. People actually come to church to watch most of the plays I direct. That was when I could feel some powers, you know. Mm. So like I never stress. I could just come to church this Sunday, and they'd be like, "Yo, we need the pastor needs us to come out and present the drama." And then I'll be like, okay, why don't you have this story, this woman, this, that, 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 that. I will, wow. And then we'll have a play. And wow. the whole church is excited. I never knew how powerful that was because, like, I could always bring out something at the spot. So in between, in, do, in between all of that hustle, one day I was like, let me even make a video. Mm. Then I was even trying to be an actor. I was trying to be this, I was trying to be that, but, like, I was trying to be what I was not. Mm. Sometimes people tell me that I got like that star power that if I drop a song, it's going to bang. But like, I know that's not my calling. If I sing now, you go like, I go to white people. Like, it doesn't. <laughs> Janice, like, say you don't want me. Janice, <laughs> like, <laughs> don't be stupid. Yep, yep. Stick to where you're like, where your talents are. Bro, like, you see, you can't outwork me in music videos. I swear to God. That! Do you talk. Understand? So, like, it's more than just... It's more than just... It's more than just knowing the arts. Do you understand? Like, mm. there's a lot of confidence that comes with it. So, like, you have to be in a certain level of mind mm. to actually be on some levels. Do you understand? Well, whilst, whilst directing in the church and being that creative... Right. Um, what was the first music video, popular or unpopular, that yeah. you decided to attempt and made you think this could be a career? Okay. Um, um, it was a process. It did not just happen like that, yeah? yeah? Um, I started up shooting viral videos, like free viral videos for my guys in the hood just to practice. So I'll rent a camera, like 15K an hour, I just call my cause I I was around the guys that did music, so I just call my guy. Like, what area is that? Lagos. What area in Lagos? Agungi. <laughs> Agungi is in Lekki. Mm. So I'll call my guys and be like, that your song. Make a shoot video for you know what? You know, pay me. Mm. Everybody love free things. <laughs> then mm. I'll shoot the video. I'm gonna go back home and I'll see it and it's gonna look shitty. Then I'll be like, damn, but because I mean you want to die, you don't pay me now. Your video no nice. I don't give you. <laughs> and then I'll look at it, and then I'm going to look at the mistakes and all of that errors. Like mm. then I had overexposed pictures. My sometimes my footages are noisy, all of that stuff. So I'll go on Google. How do I reduce ISO? Mm. I'll okay, today this is how you do it. Boom, come back. Corrected down. So it was just a process of me improving myself. Then boom. One day I was fit enough to like get a proper like one million era video. That was the first time I was gonna be using a red. Bro, it was crazy. Hmm. I was like, bro, I've never seen a red in my life. Like I just had dreams. Like these things felt unreal. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna use a red today. Like you know that Christmas. You know when I bought <laughs> Christmas cloth for you? I can't wait for and Christmas you can, day. You're looking so at the next it. Day is Christmas day. You just be looking at your cloth like this. Like, fuck, I was slay. Bro, I saw the. That night I was just on my bed. I was like, "Fucking hell!" What Nobody video was started. it? So it was for some some of my guys' ES plus. There used mm. to be a group, but now like 
they are not so Cassie is still very active, Sovida is active, you know. So then they were like a group and it was like a small record label and they wanted to put them out. They were upcoming then. So the niggas have never shot like a proper video, but the manager was like, I believe this guy, because I came with my swag and all of that. <laughs> so you could tell that I knew what I was doing. It's very important to you look confident. Like hmm. people need to see you and understand that, yo, that's ve- that's like the f- very first thing you should work on as somebody hustling in the game. Like you need to appear with confidence. People hmm. people are not here to play. Nobody has time to gamble with their money. Like hmm. you need to sh- assure them that I see. I know I what I'm doing. If people have doubts in you, that you can't move forward in this life. Wow. Nobody will give you money. Like you need to give people that yes, I can do energy whenever. Like you have to be very positive. Hmm. Again, that also helped me, you know. So we did it. That was the first time I was seeing my video on Sound City MTV base. I was like, shit, I was just sitting down, just watching it. Bro, as a young boy, it was a dream to see your video on MTV. Absolutely. Like you see your name at the end of a video, I was like, fuck. Who were some of the video directors that you looked up to and, and kind of like tried to take little pieces here, whether from Nigeria, Africa, or international? <laughs> um Ah, uh, uh, I was not watching so many videos. No way. I've never even really been on music video sets. I've never been on a music video set before I shot my first video. It's so, like everything, everything that I learned was like self-research, like YouTube and all. Like I just woke up one day and I was like, yo, I'm ready to do this stuff. And I walked my way in. So like, I mean, shout out to Session. Mm. Yeah, I loved this Whiskey video that I did. That dance for me, babe. Where people were dancing on his head. Yeah. That was like 2012. I was like, who's this guy? Mm. Yeah. Session OG. Clarence, of course. Uh uh-uh. uh. Mm. Meiji. Uh, shout out to Meiji still. Mm. You know, like all of these niggas really put out some crazy ass videos that really inspired a lot of us, you know. So I was like, okay. I mean, Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> you no, understand? No. I, I want to be in these numbers. I don't want to be, I don't want to be like the list of the options, yeah? Mm. Like, do you understand? So, it, that was like another driving force because I see how much these people have put in. Do you understand? Over the years, like, shout out to clients. Clients was doing this. This is back like my back. third year. I'm, sometimes you want to lose your mind. <laughs> then I wonder how clients had down the whole industry since like... For over a decade. bro. Nah, that was crazy. That's what I wanted to ask you. Because I know as a creative... First of all, before I ask you that question, there's also chatter that, y- you know, you've modeled in the past. Mm-hmm. You, you have been a, a, a runway mm-hmm. model. <laughs> what does the fashion industry and your style, what value does it add to your imagery? <laughs> I mean, if you, have a good fa- if you have a good eye for fashion, then you can make... Like, you can go away with a lot of stunts or music videos or in anything in life. Hmm. If you have good fashion, people can forgive you hmm. because you look good. So if you impute that into your videos, there are some errors that people will see, but because everybody in the video is looking, looking nice. nice, they'll just be like, fuck it. Like, you're just pleasing to the eyes. So, hmm. like, fashion is a crazy cheat. Even in life, you might be a thief, Absolutely. but if you got good fashion, people will still love you. People know that you're a thief. Or still, like a criminal. But they will still, but they will still if you can capture them with your swag. So like all of these elements are very important. Once you impute these things into your videos, somebody can just be walking from here to the door. And that's a mad ass video if he has crazy fashion. Mm. <laughs> Dude, that, that takes away. Now the question I wanted to ask. Because fashion you. is is like it's art on its own, you know. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Absolutely. And that's what we did with this, this Asha Khan Tiwa video. The first one minute was very intentional. What you he did with that video, you know, the stories <laughs> we're hearing, the stories we're hearing is like that video cost one hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> you know, some people told me the video cost two hundred k. Some people telling me I'm hearing crazy numbers. But anyway, um, move close to them. The, as a creative, especially someone like you with fashion, with music videos, your mind is always working. How do you deal with 
constantly being that creative? Um, What's the balance? I mean, as I said earlier, I tried to make my work fun. Mm. Like, I turned the work to, like, a lifestyle. Mm. That's the only way you want to go to work. Nobody likes work. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, but you must do hustle if you want to. That's what mm. Arasta said. Arasta, yeah. Rush, yeah. Like, nobody really likes to work. But, like, we should not lie to ourselves. We wish we can just chill and have the best things that life has to offer. But, mm. like... Mm, mm. But if you wake up and face reality, you understand that you actually have to work. Mm. Now, I want to dig into your background a little bit. What's, what's TG's upbringing like? What's the family set up? You've got siblings. Yeah. You know, what, what is that unit like and how was it growing up? Um, yeah, I have like one elder brother. So I grew up with my mom and my dad, you know, so... I went to school in Osaka mm. and then in VI. <laughs> My secondary school was in VI. It was crazy. It was a public secondary school. It was tough. You get like, we we're outside. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> yeah, I always, I always had like crazy issues with my dad because I was, I was kind of rough a bit, you know? Mm. <laughs> but yeah, we had, I had a lot of church. I was very active. How was the so how's the relationship now with your parents? Your dad specifically. Hundred. How how's that? And how wh when you had obviously when you were growing up and yeah. you had clashes and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Now do you see his point? Do you see why <laughs> there were a little bit of uh clashes between you and your folks back then? Um I mean um, yes, of course, like, every parent is always trying to, um, you know, everybody have their sight and their vision about their life, you know. You just get to a point and then you understand that, yo, I don't think how I want to fix my life is how the other man wants to fix his life. Facts. Your dad might have plans that, okay, he wants to be this person, give birth to this person, this person becomes this person. Then you're trying to break a chain and you're like, Oh, no. sorry, I might not be this person, but I want to be this person. But if I don't become this person, I know hmm. well not to come back home. Do <laughs> you understand? So, like, I know I'm going on a journey. Like, that's why you can't even take chances. The vision has to be clear. No time to waste. If you're hmm. doing something and it doesn't look like it, find your way. Find your way. Bro, no time. Where did I put this? <laughs> so, I had a look, just a snapshot of some of the people you've worked with in mm -hmm. the last three years. YC, Olamide, Whiskey, Naramali, Tenity, Maya, you know, Fireboy, Files. A lot of Fireboys on this. Yeah. A lot of Techno Miles on this. Uh, yeah. A lot of Ashakes on this. Uh -huh. um, obviously, Burner Boy. Right. But apart from some of the hits that you've put here that are absolutely incredible, right. that has put your name in lights. Right. Your partnership with Ashake mm -hmm. has become iconic. Uh, Why Andy. is that relationship that successful? What exactly about your working relationship that has just been this? Um, me and Ashake, um, I mean, we are just, we are two niggas with the same vision. Hmm. Yeah, so that's why it's like, we <laughs> we're on a mission <laughs> you get so i mean i don't think there's anything more than that do you guys share ideas together or yeah. who comes with the ideas okay um the thing the beautiful thing about me and Ashake is he allows me to do like he knows i understand the vision like he does not need to even say anything he knows hmm. like we have a vision yeah and he knows and like you know when you just be like nah tg knows not to you get. He knows what to do. Yeah. So, and that trust is also wanted that I don't want to, like, I don't, when people trust me with something, if you doubt me, I won't, I, sometimes I'll be like, okay, you already doubt me. Yeah. So you'll be surprised if I fuck yeah. up. But if you trust me, that's There's like. more pressure to. Bruh. To imagine you just that. come here and give me my black, like, don't worry. Just fuck it up. Mm. Ah. 
because that's a certain level of trust. I don't want to, like, that's hard. So I always want to get, so like that freedom to actually express myself has actually helped him. So like I have that absolute freedom to express how, Anything. yeah, how how I feel. Because you know, we share like almost the same vision you get. So I follow you on social media, on Twitter. Right. And um, you're very vocal and interactive. You don't hold your tongue. Mm -hmm. You don't. How do you find social media and engaging the way you do on Twitter? You like just playing with people's minds or some of those things are actually some of the things you believe. <laughs> what is it? Sometimes I look at your uh, tweet, I'm like, nah, this guy messing with people right here. <laughs> Damn, I hate talking about my Twitter. Oh, yeah, because that Twitter, people need to go follow you on Twitter, man. Talk to me about it. What, oh, what is it? This what, is the first time I actually be talking about my Twitter. Please, do. Um... I mean, we're about to hit the million on Twitter, I yep. think. Yeah. Um, Making you, if not the most followed video director on the continent, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> Incredible. So, like, you see, I'm always by myself. Mm. So, Twitter is, like, a different place for me. Sometimes I just, whatever I think about, I'll be like, like, Twitter is just, like, a, what is it called? Like, you know when you have, like, a, is it, is it, what is it called? Like a jot away, just mm, go. Where you express can write things say, down. Uh, so like, <coughs> I mean, you notice I don't. Anything I feel, I just say. It. You just put it out. Sometimes it's not about me. Sometimes I'm saying the mind. Sometimes I mean. Do you understand? So it's not that serious. But some people take it serious. Yeah, that's what I wanted to. Like, what about the backlash? Oh God, I don't even for the full of papa. <laughs> <laughs> Why they stress my life? <laughs> like, bro, if you don't like me. It's Even fine, like, go for I don't send your mama. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? So, like, I'm just living my life. Like, it's, bro, I just did. Now you just want to stress yourself. What are the benefits of the success that you've had that you are enjoying now? Of course, you've come to London for 24 hours. That's, that's a massive benefit of success. You understand <laughs> what I mean? What else? <laughs> <laughs> what else is a benefit of this success that you enjoying and that you actually appreciate? Um, I mean, bro, being an upcoming director is a crazy pressure. Mm. Like, it's crazy pressure. Because, bro, you have so much, so, so little to do so much. Do you understand? Right now, there's so much out there. So, like, to stand out, nah, it's crazy. So, I mean, now you don't get people to doubt you so much. Now people, like, it feels good to be... Bro, it's a wonderful feeling. Mm. Do you understand? Absolutely. Like, because you're not... Like, when you might hear a song, an artist can actually drop a song that you love so much and you can yeah, call, call the artist and, say, and be like, I, I want to shoot, shoot that video. And you'll be like, yes, let's... Do you understand? Like, mm. that is... And I love music. I love Afrobeat so much. So, like... For every song I hear, I have something always playing in my head. So to be on that certain level where I can be like, yo, this song, I love it, let's do it. And then the artist be like, yes, let's do it. It feels mm. like it's a wonderful, because I love to create. If I don't get paid to make music video, I'm you still, still going to do create. it. Like, I love to do it. Do you understand? I love to watch my mistakes mm. and be a better person. That's why I've seen with every video, I try to be better, I get. So, yeah. Then there's a whole list of so people. So it's beautiful. It's, it's a beautiful drill. <laughs> <laughs> there's a whole list of people you've worked with. Right. But who would you like to work with that you probably haven't gotten into the, you know, behind the camera mm -hmm. yet? I mean, I think I've worked with everybody I ever want to work with. Hmm. The other people I'm supposed to work with, we are already in plan. In already, yeah, like we're dropping videos. So and... are you the type of video director that holds the camera? Or you're the one that has your camera operatives? Which okay, one are you? Uh, I mean, I started up carrying my cameras every time, but as time goes on, the cameras you need go to, as, a, as a video director, you need yeah. your seat, you know, where yeah. they put the name on the back, that kind of flex, where okay. you're telling people with the microphone and yeah, stuff. Yeah, because, I mean, you have to employ labor <clears throat> when there's the budget. So, like, why do you want to kill yourself? If you're having that nice amount of budget, you should also let people eat. Mm. Just have get people to do it. 
Hmm. I have a long list of people on post-production. I have a long list of people in pre-productions. And I also employ, if you see my videos, I have a lot of crowd. I employ a lot of labor. Hmm. Make money, they go. Make everybody the chop. <laughs> Shit, yeah, so. What are, what are some tips that you would give young up and come video directors that uh, are aspiring to be in this industry and to probably be in the position that you're in? What would be a tip that you would probably have appreciated someone telling you three, four years ago? Um, uh, no, you want yourself. <laughs> <laughs> would you please break that if, down? See, <laughs> if you are doing this and it's not working, like some people lie to themselves. You are doing sh shit and mm. you carry confidence. They fool you. <laughs> like, are you stupid? <laughs> if you are doing something, it's not working. Like, if people are criticizing your shit, listen. Mm. Mm. There's no word that is hitting on you. Just listen. Don't be stupid. Improve yourself. You understand? Just try in everything you do. Just try to grow. If you don't grow, you're fucked up. Like people are growing. The next one is growing. You have to outgrow everybody. Mm. You have to be ahead of your game. So like, if you are sitting in the same place and you are trying to outgrow some people, you divine or else you are or else you are okay where you are. Yeah, but if you are trying to be the greatest, there are people on that like there are millions of people on that journey. Mm. And you have to bring your A game. Don't be stupid. Grind. <laughs> Hard work. Yes. So, uh, and like, you have to be smart with it. Like, improve yourself every fucking day. Because you can't outwork me. <laughs> Say it again. Say that again, my you brother. Understand? You can't outwork me. So you got to put in work. Wake up and hustle. Don't understand? My producer so, will, will kill you. <laughs> the fact that you're banging this door. Yeah. Because <laughs> it affects me. <laughs> You guys grind. You have to work. Yes. Now, um, before we go, the the record with um, Ashake, mm -hmm. um, Peace Be Unto You. Right. I've seen all the other videos, the one with Tiwa Savage, crazy, I, you know, Skeleton is mm -hmm. ridiculous. I, listen, everybody loves TG videos, but there's something about that video. Mm -hmm. Peace Be Unto You. There's just some... You, it was, you just... There was just something about that video. Was it the part in the library? With, yeah. Like it's just crazy. Right. Talk to me about that video. Did your <laughs> did your moose and your partner in Ashake get it <laughs> when when you said this is what we're going okay. to do? Okay. Uh, when we were doing peace, peace beyond to you, we were like we had that state. Ashake just like there was a time we were together for like a week. Yeah. We had, I was not shooting, it was not recording. We were just at one crazy state. Because then, that was after some bad drugs. Mm. So, like, we could tell that, yo, it's this about shit to is, go. Yeah, it's next level. So, like, we got to actually put in work. Like, we are not, we are not trying to take chances. Mm. I mean, with every artist I, I shoot, I try not to take chances. Like, it has to be one shot and it has to be it, you know? So, with peace be unto you, <laughs> we're angry. Mm. It was obvious. That was that was the same time I shot Buga. I shot Buga today. I shot Peace on Beyond You. Too. Like that period, that day, that week, and that was like my birthday week. I was, I was not. Yeah, I was trying to to outdo yeah. yourself. So when we did Peace Beyond You, everything was just nice. Cause with me and Ashake, we have no treatment, we have no script. We just go up. No way. And just make magic. So like, see the scene where you had. The tsunami, yeah, at the back in Lagos. That was not the idea. That day we had the bad weather, so the picture was not bright. So you, you know, just, I love you know you if you see bright. my pictures, I love bright pictures. Sharp. So that day rain was falling, so the whole atmosphere was cold. I was like, fuck, the picture was not strong enough. I was like, okay, I want the tsunami behind. Let it be intentional. Let it feel like because it had look the tsunami. Like a where, yeah, it look like yeah. So storm like it was, was not coming. yeah. I finished editing the video. I sent it to Ashaka. Ashaka was like, this is mad. And I was watching it again. I was like, damn. But this picture is not exciting. Like, this picture is too cold. Uh, then I was like, okay. Let me put a tsunami behind and let's just play with that. And then boom, that scene. That scene looks crazy. Took everybody off. We were like, fuck. Yeah, so like, some of the things that happen, sometimes I feel like it's God's plans, you know? Like, we're just directed by His Spirit. We don't really go out like with the intention of we just go out and just let the spirit lead 
Your faith, yeah. you've talked about creating in church. Right. How important is your faith to you? Um, right now, I'm a bit more spiritual because like, I'm trying to allow myself to step away from <clears throat> the, the places where step away from how I was raised to actually see life. I love to see, yeah, I love to see people's opinion. Points of view. Why are you this? Why are you that? Mm. This is why. Like, I try not to judge people. I had to step out from my comfort zone. I had to step out from my home training mm. to see why people, because the world is crazy. People move funny. Mm. <laughs> but sometimes it be like, ah, could it be that this guy is crazy? Like, mm. I love to, I'm always curious about why people do the things they do. So, like, because... I'll be sad if you judge me for being who I am. And not so I try not to, yeah, I try not to. So in the period of trying to step aside to understand how people really function, I felt like I needed every freedom I need. I needed religious freedom. I needed, like, I wanted to see myself. I wanted to know, like, I wanted to know about my own existence, you know? Like, I needed that freedom to choose uh, where I want to be. Mm. Do you understand? They let me not choose that, okay, this is where I want to be. Mm. So now I'm more connected to my inner self through my mind. Like it's like I'm I'm being led by my own spirit. That's amazing. Do you understand? So I don't really talk, like to talk about religion and spirituality because I I'm just like a free thinker right now. That's that's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. If you're a Muslim, I love you. If you're a Christian, Absolutely. fantastic. If you're if you're an Ifa priest, yeah, that's no beautiful. Problem. Like yeah. everybody had like everybody has like the freedom to worship, you know. Final question. Every musician, right. when they create a song, they want it to be a hit in the sense that they want a lot of people to hear it. Right. Every video director creating a music video, what do they wish for? Mm. I mean, for me, yes, it has been, um, it changes. Mm. There was a time I was creating music video to build a brand or to tell my story. Mm. And there's a time where I want money. Mm. <laughs> Do you understand? Because I feel like you work to a certain level. It's not just a hobby no more, but it's work. Mm. And you have to be paid. Paying your bills. Not even bills. Like, you're putting in work. You have to, to like... Be paid. <laughs> I'm putting in work. Pay me, my nigga. What mm. are you telling me? Like... Mm. This is not like, but it started up as something you love to do. But now because there's so much demand, so it's a lot of work. Because mm. people pay all of this money for, because they have demands. And you must reach it. Don't be stupid. Don't play with people's Fact. emotions. Fact. So like, now you have to put in a lot of research. Because you can't do the same thing you did yesterday. Fact. And remember, this is just one head function. Mm. So every day you're trying to put yourself like today you're shooting an R and B song, tomorrow you're shooting an you're shooting one hip hop song, tomorrow you're shooting Afro beat. You need to put yourself in all of that sound, all of those people's mind and all of that. So actually deliver that. So that's a lot of work. So you have to pay me. <laughs> you pay me, pay me. You get and bro, you must deliver. Mm. You don't have an excuse. If you have 99 videos and one is bad, they're going to judge you by that one that is bad. Mm. So every day you have to deliver, you know? So that's, bro, an artist can have like 500 hits the day he drops a, a dead song. song. People, they're going to judge you more by that dead song than, so that's just life. I can't, because you two are in these Facts. people's shoes. Facts. Yeah, so every day you wake up, you have to just try to outdo your past. Listen, my brother, uh, it's been an interesting conversation. Yes, thanks. I'm very, very happy for meeting you. Um, congratulations on the success so far. And obviously, this is just the beginning. Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up for my incredible, talented, mm -hmm. super rich guest. It is TG, aka Thank God Omari.